fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World, and today we're going to talk about some of the scams that you might see when you visit Las Vegas. Because I don't want you to get scammed and end up here in the middle of nowhere in the desert, I want you to know what to look out for when you do head to Vegas. And I think one of the things that's really important you need to know is the scams about the street performers. Look, anytime you take a picture of a street performer, or you take a picture with a street performer, or make eye contact with them, they will want you to tip them, okay? And the thing is, if you do take their picture, you get together with them and get a picture yes you do need to tip them because that's how they make their living but the scammy part about it is that sometimes you just make eye contact and like Deadpool's like hey dude you looked at me I want some money those kind of scams you don't have to give them money for that but you take the picture and stuff you should because that's the way they make their money but just be ready for it and I will say is you may want to take a picture with one character whether it's Spider-Man or Deadpool or Mickey Mouse or or the women that are dressed up very scantily or the men that are dressed up very scantily whichever one you want and someone one of the other performers will hop in the picture and they'll want money too so just be ready for that kind of like mini scam when you're going by because there are a lot of those kind of street performers out there whether they've got snakes to show you or other things to show you just have a heads up for that now another thing you'll see is when you're walking the strip there's going to be people that are going to offer you free tickets or vip access just for you come on they're going to have some kind of deal to try to get you to go to some place, try to get you to get in there, right? And the thing is, free tickets, yeah, free tickets is easy, but you need to make sure you see, is it free tickets and then, oh, two drink minimum, and what's the drink you have to get? Because is a $25 value ticket cheaper than having to buy two $20 drinks? I mean, this is the things you have to look at. So make sure you're looking at that fine print on those free tickets or those free offers. And I'm telling you right now, if any of these free things have to deal with a timeshare kind of thing, run away, okay? You're just, just run away from it. So just be ready for that kind of scam. Now, another thing you might see is when you take taxis around Vegas, I mean, I'll be honest, one of the big things you'll see, you'll see in all the blogs, you'll see in all the people talk about long hauling, Basically what it is, a taxi takes you the long way to go places, which happens everywhere. The thing is, when you take taxis from the airport, that's where they can really get you. So do have a heads up if you're going to be taking a taxi in from the airport, you know, pull out your phone. I mean, you can get, you know, Uber from there and it tracks it, or you can track yourself and be like, hey, I want to go this way instead. Just have a heads up. There's also resort shuttles that can take you as well. So you don't have to do the taxi thing, but just know that they might go the long way around because if you end up in the desert when you're driving from the airport to the strip you've definitely gone the wrong way okay and kind of another thing I think is important for you to know is anytime you get a recommendation from a taxi or a taxi office to take you someplace, don't always think it's from the goodness of their heart because they might be getting a kickback from that. So it's not necessarily a scam, but just know it might not be 100% truthful when they say, this is the best place to go. Oh, I recommend you going there. Just be aware of these things. Now, another scam you might see when you're going around are official photographers. I saw this when I was at the Las Vegas sign every time I've been here and there's somebody there like being off of professional photography -y, like oh I'm the official photographer I'm a photographer I can do this for you and all this kind of things and they're gonna want you to pay for the photographs the thing is is you have a camera you have your phone you can take a selfie or you can switch it around put it in wide angle mode you guarantee yourselves in there just do that you don't need to pay people to take your picture because believe me there's enough other tourists here that will take your picture for you that you'll be fine and you'll probably make a friend that way so don't fall for these official official photographer things, you don't need to do it. Also, if you're going to visit any of the sites like the High Roller or the Hoover Dam, they always do the, oh, we'll do the, the picture beforehand. So you can, you know, you take the picture of the green screen. Don't ever feel pressured to buy those. I mean, Hoover Dam, High Roller, there was no pressure, but some places can be that, but, but don't feel obligated to buy them. And then probably the biggest, most expensive scam that we're all dealing with when we come to Vegas and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it are resort fees. So. Remember when you looked online and got that price for your hotel room? You're like, dude, these are awesome prices for hotels. Yes, they are for the hotel, but the thing is, they don't include the resort fees. And what a resort fee is, is a $35, $40, $50 daily charge that you get on your bill just for staying there. For the privilege 
of using all the amenities there. You know, the swimming pools and the gym and internet, you know, all those things, you have to pay that fee and it's every day. And you can complain about all you want, they will not knock it off. And here's the thing that's really scammy about it to me is, even if the amenities are not available, you're still paying. I remember I'm here and it's winters, early spring, so the pools aren't open yet. I'm still paying full resort fees, though the pools are not open. So you're not gonna get out of it. It really upsets you. So don't be scammed by low hotel prices. Make sure you look and see, okay, what's the resort fee gonna be as well? Because if you do book on some of these sites, they might not mention that when they do that. It's like, oh, $160 a night, but after resort fees and taxes, it's $250 a night. What happened? What? So you do need to be careful with that, all right? And of course it is Vegas, so there are so many tourists that come here, and that does bring out the typical scams you have anywhere else in the world. So you know what, when you're walking around, and you're walking on this trip, keep your wallet in your front pocket, because yeah, there are pickpockets out there. And don't be buying things from street vendors, whether it's water or CDs or movies or whatever, or tickets. Make sure you're going to an actual store, like go to the CVS or Walgreens to buy your water. Go to one of the ticket agents to buy your tickets. They get you discount tickets. When people are selling stuff on the street, a lot of times that can be, you know, you're not sure what the quality control is. So that's something you need to look out for. Also, uh, anytime there's any gambling on the street, the, you know, the three card Monte and all those kind of stuff, you know, or the, the cup game, which is all basically the same thing those things you're gonna lose all right so just have a heads up for that and, and honestly you can have a great time here in vegas i mean that's why millions of people come here every year because it is so good but with millions of tourists there are some scams you need to watch out for so i hope this helps you get ready for it we've got plenty of videos to help you learn more about getting the most out of your time to vegas the don'ts of vegas little mistakes people make when they come to vegas 10 things that shock tourists when they come here all on our website at waltersworld.com if you click subscribe we put out new videos every wednesday and saturday so thank you everybody Buddy. Um, I want to say a special thanks to all our patrons on Patreon and our members here on YouTube who help make honest travel videos like this possible. And I'll say bye from here right outside of Las Vegas.